Hey guys, Ryan Irwin with you. I'm going to do a little installment of this video log. This is Food Prep Sunday. And as we all know, the week is crazy busy. And what I try to do on a Sunday is prepare things in advance so that in that way as the crazy week happens, I've got most of my stuff already prepared. So I'm going to take you through kind of what I do on a given Sunday so you know what's going on. We're nine weeks out, don't have any time to screw up. We've got the Mr. Iowa, the Nutrisport Natural Iowa coming up in three weeks that we put on. Uh, we've got a lot of competitors we're getting ready for that and other contests as well. So no time to goof off or screw up. So here we go. All right, I'm no Curtis Stone by any means, uh, but I do enjoy grilling. So what I've got here is uh, a charcoal Weber. All right, and what I've done, I'll show you. Um, I have got uh, hardwood lump charcoal is what I use to grill with. It's uh, it adds a little bit of a smoky flavor. I like the way it uh, cooks up. It heats up real quick. And then what I do here, this guy right here, this is a pan of water, and this is just a theory. I don't know if it works or not, but I feel like it creates some humidity and it helps keep the chicken moist and stuff. So anyway, I like to put some uh, some mesquite or some hickory chips in there too. So it kind of adds to a, a, a smoky flavor. All right, and um, so I'm gonna cook up a bunch of chicken. Now, this is actually kind of weak, uh, a weak batch. Normally I've got probably twice as much meat on here, um, but uh, it's what I had and uh, I have to get it done. I'm cooking some fish for Mandy, for the wife. She uh, do something different it's Mother's Day so I'll give it a little treat there so anyway I'm gonna keep cooking that and letting that grill up nice and tender so what we have here is some sweet potatoes all right and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rinse them off clean them up and I'm gonna cut them into sections cut them into cubes and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in this guy right here all right this basically it's uh, it's a holy dish all right you basically you put this in your grill and i'm going to cook my sweet potatoes and smoke them after my chicken is done cooking which is going on right now that way it gives a little bit of a uh a smoky flavor for my sweet potatoes plus it kind of pre-cooks them so when i zap them in the microwave they're already halfway cooked and it doesn't take as long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this little guy right here okay it uh it's kind of like a guillotine Okay, but I'm going to cut the uh, sweet potatoes into sections with them so that way they cook a lot easier. All right, <clears throat> just pulled the stuff off the grill. We got the grilled chicken right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that cool and cut that up. Nothing's worse than trying to cut up hot chicken. Uh, this is what I use to flavor it. It's called Doug's Last Wish. Uh, we carry it here. It's just a mix of organic garlic, pepper, uh, salt, just good stuff. Um, and then here are my sweet potatoes. they are uh, got a nice smoky flavor. They're soft. You could eat them uh, right now. They're a little bit of a crunch. But uh, what I'll do is I'll freeze them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a big bulk bag and freeze it. Because as I change my carbs throughout the week, if I do, then I'm not stuck with a given amount. I can just easily weigh this out, uh, these portions out as I need uh, however many grams of carbs I need. So... Uh, that's the next step. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is while we're getting our food cooked, we're going to get all the vitamins and whatnot put together. So I've got this nice handy-dandy little carrying case, and you can see each day of the week is labeled right here, and then I've got compartments, all right, throughout the day. And what I'm going to do is then I'll put my vitamins, supplements, or whatnot into each one of these compartments for the week, all right? So then that way, throughout the, the week and each day, they're already done. Instead of trying to you know grab something here, grab some multivitamin, some glucosamine, some ALA and stuff. It's just all right there, and so that way I don't have to worry about it for the entire week. So real, this is a real nice way to go, and uh, you know there's a lot of different variations, but this is the one I've used. So this is a way to keep yourself organized. Yeah. All right, gang, we're getting close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together all of my post-workout uh, 
cereal goodness, all right? So here's what I do. I got uh, six containers for the whole week, and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put together my post-workout meal into those containers, and that way they're done for the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the portions in there. Of course, I'm going to weigh out. I'm anal. I, I even weigh out my, my protein of the gram. Um, I'm also using leucine, uh, creatine, beta alanine. This is dextrose, uh, two tablespoons or 20 grams there, and then uh, 15 grams of waxy mace. And then also I'm going to use this stuff right here. This is uh, puffed cracked wheat. All right, it's, it gives it some, it's like cereal basically. It just gives it some, uh, some girth, all right? So I like to eat my cereal. And then what I'll do is then I'll put a spoon in here. And then that way when I'm in the gym, after I'm working out, I can grub on my post-workout cereal and uh, have everything right there self-contained. So now here's my secret weapon. This is meal five. What meal five consists of is, is a pre-measured amount of, of protein powder. You know, right now I'm using this Myelin Evolution and a mix of that and whey protein, which is nice because there's extra fiber and fats in there. And I'll also put some almonds in there too. Now, the reason I do this is meal five is right around dinner time. Okay, and that's a busy time. I'm either leaving for the store or I'm going somewhere else. All right, but the nice thing about this is it's a very convenient meal that I can easily take with me. So what I do is I take a plastic spoon and I cut the handle off so it fits in there just like that and then I put like a lid on it so what's nice about this is uh, it's very portable so if I'm in a pinch and I need to get my meal in don't have any access to a refrigerator don't have access to a microwave all I do is put just a little bit of water in here and stir it up with a spoon so it gets to be kind of a pudding consistency and then I can eat it wherever I go so if you're, uh, if you're in contest prep or if you're just trying to eat healthy, um, which hopefully everybody listening and uh, watching this is that, uh, in that scenario, um, this is a real easy way to uh, have a meal to go and there's no reason why you can't hit a meal. So uh, now I'm going to measure out a week's worth of these so I'm good to go for the week. All right, well, here we are. We finally got it all done. It took a while, but, you know, throughout the week it's going to save me time and I've got it all ready. So I'm going to ensure that I don't miss a meal, I don't fall off the diet, and I've got a plan in place. So here's where we're at. We've got the uh, post-workout. we got uh, six days worth of that. Um, we've got five days worth of meal five. Very convenient. we got a whole bunch of sweet potatoes. I'll freeze all this and portion this out throughout the week. And then I've got my week's worth of chicken already pre-weighed out. And then I'll just combine this. And then, of course, I've got a bag of frozen veggies. Then we've got our vitamins that we're going to have stocked up. So, well, gang, that's what I do to prep for the week for meals. And uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas of some ways that you can prep for your own meals. And uh, it, it takes some time, but it's absolutely worth it, especially with the busyness we have during the week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll keep uh, updating you on the contest prep progress and everything else that's going on. Keep working hard every day.